viewers, this is Heretic Plus, and welcome to a special surprise episode where I tell you all what LP I'm doing next. Pretty astounding. Anyways, before I begin, how about a quick tour? So this is my freakishly awesome room. I'll just give you a quick run through. This is where I play PS3, Xbox 360, yeah. And whatever else I might do, it all goes here next to my awesome couch, which I talked about in one of my LP episodes of Darksiders, I believe. But that aside, uh, this is where I chill my bed down here. Are all the jumbled up cords that I use for recording. Mics, controllers, etc. My dazzles down there. My uh, AV splitter amplifier thingy that was kind of expensive. All that stuff. I throw it down there when I'm not using it. Not very efficient, but I'm not that popular yet. Okay, and over here, you know, I've got some other stuff. If you can see these guys. Yeah, them. I painted them. They're pretty freaking amazing. I'll just pull one out for you right now. Eh, how about you? Look at this. Look at this guy. He's pretty astounding. There's even grass in his base and everything like that. These are Warhammer 40k models, a game which I play a lot, as well as Warhammer Fantasy. If you know what that is, awesome. If not, you know, if you want to know, I can make a few videos about that, so let me know. Anyways, back to the topic. My next LP that I will make. You know, I got a lot of different votes for what I should do, be it uh, Dark Souls, um, what was the other one? Shoot. Oblivion, you know, and I got the exact even amount of votes between the two. So I decided I'm going to pick something new. I'm going to pick something retro, something everybody will undeniably love. And this is it. Ba -ba -ba -bam! I'm going to do the N64 version. Well, the best version of Ocarina of Time. Yeah! Which I'll probably have to do on this TV, but that's because apparently uh, games that use old RCA cables don't like HDTVs. But yeah, I'm okay with that. It it'll give me a chance to use my new Dazzle. Yeah! No, not a bedazzler. I'm not putting jewels on my pants. But you know what? Maybe. No, I'm just joking. So, uh, right before I go, I want to show you something freakishly awesome that I got, like, yesterday. Ba -dum -ba -bum! This, I got a freaking Mass Effect 3 calendar win! Anyways, um, yeah, check this out, okay? Freakishly awesome. It's, you know, got that page. Tons of stuff, all the months, with different uh, arts on them. You know, I love Mass Effect, for those of you who don't know. That's a game that I might even want to LP. I could LP all three of them, but whatever the case, they're awesome. Check them out if you haven't. But uh, I can't use it until January 1st, which kind of sucks. But I'm a little bit off topic. But so, yeah, um, here we go. Ocarina of Time on N64. This is a game that I have played for... Gosh, it came out in, like, 1997, when I was like, okay... I was four years old when this game came out. Um, so literally, you know, like, this was when I was a little bit too young to actually play games. So I would, like, follow my brother across the street to our neighbor's house and, and watch them play it. They got it when it first came out, you know. And I would just, you know, I was too young to play, so I would just tag along and watch, you know, because I was too young. My brother uh, is five years older than me, so there's always been kind of a big difference between us. Anyways, I pretty much, you know, when I finally got my hands on this game for myself... It's kind of what prompted me to, re to really want to read a lot, you know, because I, I could play it. It's a great game. I loved it. It was so cool. I had so many hours. I played through this game, like, at least 10 times, 15 times probably, almost every year since I started getting it or started playing it. I played it at least once through that year. Um, so, yeah, you know, this really got me involved in wanting to read so I'd know what the characters were saying, which is pretty important in the game, you know. But uh, this is probably one of the most sentimental games of all time to me. Um, and if you played it before, especially if you played it when maybe you were younger and it first came out, you really understand what I'm talking about. You know, Majora's Mask was great, you know, but sentimentally, this game is probably the most important to me of, of any game ever. This is the first big game that I ever really beat. You know, so it's pretty important. And so I will be bringing an awesome LP for you guys. It will have everything. I'll get every single Skullshula, every single heart piece, beat every single boss. Just do every freaking thing, all the extra items, dungeons, etc. There's not many, but there, there's quite a few. Uh, the Goron Sword, which isn't really secret, but all that cool stuff. I'll show you how to do all of it in, the, in what I think is the best way possible. So what is today? It's, uh... Yeah, I'm going to pull out the old phone. By the way, this phone sucks, just so you know. I've been doing an upgrade for months, which I've just been too lazy to go get. Like, there's buttons missing. So some of them don't work, etc. Okay, it's the 21st, Sunday. This LP will go up, um... Oh, 
tell you what. Best case scenario, it'll come up the 23rd, um, which is Tuesday. I don't have any work Tuesday, so I've got all day to make this freaking awesome. Um, and if I can't do it Tuesday for whatever re reason, then it will come up um, probably Friday or Saturday, most likely. But Tuesday, aim for Tuesday. It will be awesome. Ocarina of Time popping up, being so tight. This is my favorite game probably of all time, ironically. So, you know, show up. Uh, I hope you really enjoy. This is a game that I'm excited to LP because I know everything about this game. There's nothing about this game that I don't know. I don't think so. Except for some of the glitches and stuff, but that's just getting crazy. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. It should come up Tuesday. So uh, be sure to tune in and watch. This is Heretic Plus, signing out. Goodbye.